Hello everyone. Our model is nature, round up from our book called Blast. Let's just start with the vocabulary in the round up. Circle the correct words. Number one, the fire completely destroyed or attacked our house, but likely everyone risked or survived. Of course, destroyed and survived. Perfect. Number two, we were shocked or shocking when we hear that a fire had broken or put out in our neighborhood. Shocked, excellent, and broken. Three, can you bring some trunk or wood over here? Wood, perfect. I want to light a fire. I think the degree or temperature is dropping. Temperature, perfect. Number four, the earthquake was very strong and as a result, or as well as lots of buildings drowned or collapsed. Of course, it's as a result and collapsed. Perfect. Number five. Jack got on the motorbike behind his father and held or handed on tight. Excellent. Held. Six. We were walking quietly through the forest, trying not to warn or disturb the birds. Excellent. Suddenly, Vincent made a noise and scared a few them away. Scared, perfect. Seven, when I went rock climbing last week, I nearly fell off a cliff or on edge. Excellent, a cliff. It was a frightening or frightening experience. Of course, it's frightening. Now, let's write about what had you done before your friends came to your house. Now, I have some examples, like if you are going to invite your friends to your house, of course, you are going to tidy your room, go to supermarket, buy soft drinks, make sandwiches, or buy new computer games. So, the idea is that you are going to do before they are coming. I have it here as an example. Before my friends came to my house, I had tidied my room and had bought some soft drinks from the corner shop. I had also bought two new computer games because I know my friends love them. I hadn't had time to go to the supermarket because it's quite far and I hadn't made any sandwiches. So, when my friends arrived, we made them together. So, this is how to make a paragraph. What are your favorite dishes from all around the world? For example, is it kebab from Lebanon? Is it kapsa from Saudi Arabia? Is it sushi from Japan? Is it burger from America? So each one of you is having his own favorite dishes from all around the world. Now let's listen to an answer. Rhyming corner. Read the rhyme and circle the correct words. Then listen and check your answers. Feel the flow. H2O, feel the flow. Splish, splash, splosh, and here we go. On and on the water runs. Do you know from where it comes? From the seven seas to what fills your sink, the rain and the clouds and the stuff you drink. H2O, feel the flow. Splish, splash, splosh, and here we go. Plip and plip, the water drips as it goes on its trip. From the kettle's steam to all that rain, just remember, it's all the same. H2O, feel the flow. Splish, splash, splosh, and here we go. Round and round the water flows. Keep in mind just where it goes. We need to find a good solution to stop the world's water pollution. So, of course, the answers. Number one, seas. Number two, rain. Three goes, or remember five good and six water. So for today we learned about the vocabulary, writing, how to write before your friends come, and your favorite dishes and answering the rhyming corner. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed my class.